I don't remember that, Nupiu, but it was not shared among public people. It was shared among my teammates, but I think pretty much no one else played on it. I mean, like I said, if I had to name one thing that made Warcraft 3 more fun for me than Starcraft 2, it's the length of the fights. But if I had to name a second and a third thing, it would be heroes and the fact that free units, summoned units, give experience to heroes. So that you cannot spam free units at infinitum, at nauseum, to the point where those free units will just win the game and you don't get anything from killing them. You only get something from trying to avoid them or, or killing them without losing too much. Whereas in uh, Warcraft 3, summoned units are a very powerful buffer, but when you kill them you get XP, so it's like short term versus long term. Swarm hosts have given me probably the greatest PTSD in my life, which is a very good thing, isn't it? It means I haven't lost any limbs, I haven't gone through war. I'm definitely a summer child. Many of us are, thankfully. If you're not, it feels bad man, but here you are. But uh, the point is, <laughs> biggest, biggest shit I ever experienced, <laughs> Swarm hosts. <laughs> wow. There are a few other things, but that's a bit too personal. Anyway. <laughs> oh, sweet summer child. So, Master Bran, is that the kind of story you like? Hello, Yagami. Try to turn that name around, guys. You remember how upset I was, right, Wayman? By the way, I uh, I got your app, Wayman. It's uh, actually mutual. I want the same, but my time management doesn't really allow for uh, socializing. So the sentiment is definitely shared. And uh, my plan is to do a birthday party around early spring and you would be invited you and esther of course and some others frizo a few others kodo shaman is good farseer kodo shaman okay let's go farseer you promise right kodo shaman uh, actually since tot is watching i think it is uh, appropriate to do a style that I used to play uh, on recommendation of Todd. Uh, I was going to uh, China. I don't know. I think it was the first time ever that I went to China. Uh, Star Wars, it was called. Uh, Star Wars 1. It was going to be one of many events that uh, Zax, who later or simultaneously also ran War 3 Replays.net, uh, organized. And it's the first time I met Sky, and I had been... Uh, hearing of Sky's renown in China, he was starting to become a very good player, previously unknown and then starting to get more and more famous. And uh, I was actually feeling quite intimidated about the whole trip, going to China, uh, playing against Sky. And uh, I asked my teammate and friend, Tot, how should I play against him? And actually I said, I don't have a chance. And Tot actually convinced me that I do have a chance which I didn't believe. And uh, he said I should play this strat. So here we go, Farseer into TC, Grunt Shaman and Expansion. Feels top, man.
I think we what are some ridiculous things a unit slash hero says? I go with DHs my blade hurts. Like... No shit, dude. No comment. He still does not want to invest in an arcane tower. Holy shit, that scared me. He's got it, thanks dude. Hashtag less than three. Less than three. He says my blade thirsts. Not hurts. This is why Arcane Tower exists, okay? Never done TC harass like this. Come <laughs> on. 
The TCRS game. Okay. Get the armor upgrade. Oh no. Uh, I forgot. I haven't started the expansion yet. Tier three, yeah, okay. I'm gonna let you finish, bro. Not. I thank you. Don't mess with cow. Feels shockwave chain lightning man. DC Solo Harass game, no problem. Yeah, he did what he could. Going for Bros was probably the best. Maybe if I get like infinitely delayed, it would get some value. Have you ever killed a hero with Sapper? Um, probably yes, but I don't remember, so it was not in a big tournament. Not for lack of trying, though. Did you win that game versus Sky with this tactic? Yes, I won 2-0 against Sky. It was a pretty okay uh, victory. But he won the next two, three, four times that we played competitively, if not more. In fact, I beat Sky not very often. I beat him in 2008 at the IEM in Seoul, South Korea after I won WCG. Then I also won IEM South, uh, South Korea a week later. I beat him in that Star Wars. Sometimes I beat him in WC3L. And once or twice, maybe max three times in various really convoluted Chinese tournaments at some stage of the tournament, though not in the finals or any advanced stage. But I would say probably I lost 70% of my matches against Sky. Oh, 